Hello viewers, I am Kausalya. Today we are going to solve problems in exercise 8.3. Problem number 4. So, if tan A equal to cot B, prove that A plus B is 90 degrees. So, tan A is equal to cot B. Right. So, now I am writing cot in terms of tan. That is cot theta is equal to tan into 90 minus theta. So, in the place of theta, I am having B. Therefore, here 90 minus B. Right. So, what is the given thing? Tan A equal to cot B. Right. I am replacing this cot B with tan 90 minus B. Now, these two tans cancel each other and the value of A is equal to 90 minus B. When I move this minus B to the left hand side, it becomes plus. Right. Therefore, A plus B is equal to 90 degree. So, this is the thing we have to prove. Therefore, hence prove. Right? Now, we proceed with the fifth problem. If secant 4a is equal to cosecant a minus 20, where 4a is an acute angle, find the value of a. Right? Again, the same thing. So, secant 4a is equal to cosecant 90 minus 4a. Right? That is secant theta is equal to cosecant 90 minus theta. In the place of theta, that is 4a. Therefore, here it is 4a. Right? Now, the next thing is write down the given expression. Secant 4a is equal to cosecant a minus 20. Right? So, secant 4a we have framed in the form of cosecant. So, just replace this secant 4a by this cosecant term. So, here it is cosecant 90 minus 4a is equal to cosecant a minus 20. So, again the same thing, the cosecant cancel each other and 90 minus 4a is equal to a minus 20, right. Now, again we have to combine the similar terms together. So, this minus 20 when moved to the left hand side becomes plus 20 and this minus 4a when moved to the right hand side becomes plus 4a. So, 90 plus 20, 110, a plus 4a is 5a. Therefore, what is the value of A? It is 110 by 5 which is equal to 22 degrees. Right. So, again if you want to check, you see 4A is an acute angle. That is, it is an angle which is less than or equal to 90 degrees. So, what is the value of A? So, here the A is 22. So, what about 4A? Which is nothing but 4 into 22 which is 88 degrees. Okay. This condition is also getting satisfied. So, here the A is 22 degree. Just you can do this to check. Okay. That's it. No need to. You have no need of compulsion that you have to do this step. Just if you have any doubt, you can check with this. Right. That's it. Our sixth problem. If A, B and C are interior angles of a triangle A, B, C. Then show that. Okay. Right. A, B, C are some angles. Right. Interior angles of a triangle. And we have to prove this condition. Right. So, the general thing is, what is the summation of angles of a triangle? It is 180 degrees. Right. So, just frame it. A plus B plus C is equal to 180 degree. So, here what we have to prove? We have to frame an expression that is B plus C divided by 2. So, as a first step, I am keeping B plus C together and I am moving this A to the right hand side. Right. So, here B plus C is equal to, when you move this A to the right hand side, this plus A becomes minus A. Therefore, 180 minus A. The next thing is, I have to divide by 2. So, dividing by 2 on both sides. Right. Let me write. Dividing by 2 on both sides. Right. When you divide, it becomes B plus C by 2. And here it is 180 minus A by 2. Right. So, 180 by 2 is, again we can split and write, 180 by 2 minus A by 2. So, 180 by 2 is 90 degree minus this A by 2 will remain as such. Right. Now, you see, in the problem I am having a sine term as well as a cos term. But as a step here, I am using sine term. Right. I will explain you why. So, I am multiplying by sine on both the sides. Right. So, this expression becomes sin b plus c by 2 and here it becomes sin 90 minus a by 2. Right. So, here sin 90 minus theta. What is the formula? 
sin 90 minus theta is nothing but it is our cos theta right in the place of theta i am having a by 2 therefore here this 90 minus a by 2 can be written as cos a by 2 right so this is the thing what we are expected to prove you see we have to prove this one right sin b plus c by 2 equal to cos a by 2 and this is what we finally obtained sin b plus c by 2 is equal to cos a by 2 right so this problem gets over here we will move with the next one our last problem in this exercise right express sin 67 degree plus cos 75 degree in terms of trigonometric ratios of angles between 0 and 45 so again this is similar to the example problem here it is the angles are 67 and 75 but what we need we need as 0 degrees and 45 degrees right so again we are going to write sine in terms of cos and cos in terms of sine because you see only the answer deals with angles okay not about cos and sine so you just less bother about that so the sine 67 can be written as cos 90 minus 67 that is sin theta is equal to cos 90 minus theta right so 90 minus 67 is 23 degrees therefore it is cos 23 degrees similarly cos 75 cos theta is written as sin 90 minus theta so here the theta is 75 and here again it is 75 so this 90 minus 75 is nothing but 15 degrees right therefore the sin 67 plus cos 75 can be written as cos 23 plus sin 15 again when you look at this angle just you can check right this 23 degree it lies between 0 and 45 again in the same way this 15 degree lies between 0 and this 45 degrees right so this exercise gets over here again you have to know those six formulas right only if you are confident with those six formulas you can solve the problems okay with this exercise okay even in the future also there may be a chance of making use of these formulas right in the upcoming trigonometric exercises so that's all if you have any doubt let me know in the comment section thank you